So I started playing baseball at a really young age. Uh, started in t-ball, kept, kept working my way up. Uh, went to pitching machine and then kid pitch and then um, eventually travel ball and, and high school baseball. And uh, behind me you'll even see the, the exact field that I played on for four years, um, which was really cool. A lot of great memories here. Uh, a lot of great people and a lot of great coaches, so been uh, super blessed to have that be such a big part of my life. So I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. Um, the city just keeps growing day by day. I've got two younger brothers and some incredible parents. Uh, I've been here for, gosh, 20 years now. And um, it is such a great city. We love it here. We've got the beach, we've got sports, we've got friends and family. So um, I definitely see maybe, you know, in a couple years from now, um, hopefully coming back and, and moving down here and, and settling down here. I bet you a fourth before that I hit the machine. There's no way. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> that was first try, too. So when I was in high school, I remember one day coming to practice, um, and long story short, I ended up, um, I was driving to practice, and I ended up getting into a huge uh, car accident. Um, I remember my car flipping two or three times on the road, and uh, it was, it was kind of this crazy miracle moment where I was just sitting in my car and nothing was in the car at the end of the crash except this little prayer journal I had kept in my console. And it was definitely just a, a really cool moment, a scary moment, but a cool moment. And the best part about it is that um, I just remember you know, my teammates uh, from my high school team coming to my house and just comforting me and, and, and seeing how I was doing. And it was just a, a cool experience to have guys that I, I grew up playing with uh, be such a big part of my life and uh, really thankful for some incredible people and coaches. Um. So something that a lot of people don't know about me is that I am a huge Taylor Swift fan. Um, I remember going and traveling to away games in high school and just jamming out to Taylor Swift on the back of the bus. And I try to keep my music low so that nobody would hear it, um, but definitely a huge Taylor Swift fan. And obviously I try to mix in some Post Malone and some Ed Sheeran here and there, um, but I just, I love Taylor's style and uh, her writing is just incredible and hopefully I can uh, integrate some of what she does into my music. So, huge Swifty. My parents are my rock stars. Uh, my mom and dad, they never missed a high school game. They, I just remember them always at a game. I'd look to the stands and I'd always see my dad. And the funny thing about my dad is that you can't miss him at a baseball game. He is the loudest and most obnoxious man on the field. You can ask anybody in Jacksonville, anybody that we played with, um, but I couldn't have asked for better parents, man. Um, they are just awesome, and um, they'd never miss a game, and super supportive of me and both my athletics and also my music, so. So a couple years back, my mom was actually diagnosed with uh, stage four lymphoma cancer. And uh, it was a really tough time for all of us, but especially her. And uh, she just kept on fighting. And, and she, um, you know, she had some really rough days and some really good days too. And I just remember praying and praying. And um, some of my teammates and, and a bunch of family friends, we just kept on praying. And, uh, I am excited to say that to this day she is fully 100% cancer free and we couldn't be more blessed about it. <laughs>